Hi, welcome to Smart Polar Channels. Uh, welcome to my Smart Polar Channels here. Uh, it is the seventh video in the lecture series. Today, in this section, I will discuss about uh, the network uh, inner things. It is a very amazing. After that, I will go forward to how to train data in neural network training. So, what about I show in the previous videos? In these videos, in previous videos actually, how to train the data in network. Let's see the inside the diagrams, how it looks like. So let's see. Uh, before that, uh, uh, there is uh, errors in the previous uh, previous things. So, oh, that's why I am not. Uh, okay, you know the errors is error is why. Uh, let's uh, train the previous data again and uh, let's see after resolving the errors what will give the performance. After that, we will go the very inner things. It's a very important video, very important video. I am telling you, please pay attention very properly in these sections. After training the data of the bank notes, string down training is ongoing processing. I will go to the inner sides of the networks. Okay. You know, let me fit up the page. Okay. This the figure two diagrams. This figure one diagrams like this. Okay. Fine. So this is a network diagrams. Fine. So Previous also few of them are uh, options about something that when you are training the data, when you are training the data uh, when you are using input, how you will give the weight to each input? We will give this thing to manually or something else. Obviously, few of the PhD students also ask me for these questions. So I will discuss you about the thing, I will hear the views about the things. So when you are training the neural networks, you are using some training function, learning function, as well as output training function, you can take an input and you are using some training networks. In the training networks, in the training function, learning function, there is a predefined mechanism. In this mechanism, by this mechanism, your weight should be distributed for each of the input. But how? Let's see. To see the weights and inside the diagrams, you should type here ginseng. Ginseng net. It is not defined. Ginseng, sorry, ginseng net. Okay. Let's see the inside. What is this? We will be shocked after see this video. What is going on inside? In a human brain, it is not able to perform all the things. If you want, if you try to manually manipulate all the words for all the inputs. But the network did the words because this thing is predefined this. Jensen will take a few times to explore these things. Give me, uh, please give uh, bear with me. Okay, uh, I need these things. Better uh, spaces. Jensen till now it's not initialized. Uh, it just shows that starting symbolink. I mean, till now it's creating the symbolink. After that, after creating the symbolink, it will. Show me the actual diagrams on the simulate of these networks where I am using feed forward network networks and logistics as a learning functions and building is the output functions and training element training element with market back propagations for training as the trainings. So by these things by the above the input and by the above by the above the input values and by the above our target values, it will it creates the automatic symbolic diagrams and it will show me the single diagram to me. Now it's the PC, the now it's the process is not complete. Um, after complete, it will get uh, the So, 
please bear with me. I will give, I uh, want to give you the actual, I um, think the very proper idea about the new unit open science. And uh, those of the students are stable till now, not watch my videos on this series from very first, which was all the videos and give you a feedbacks, like my video, subscribe my channel, that will motivate me to create number of videos like this. So, finally this created. Yeah. Till now it is easy. Okay, it's not properly created. It is easy till now. It's not properly created. It's trying to um, solve it is completed. Oh, okay, now fine. It's not properly created now. This thing. This is the network. Input is here. Sorry. This is the network. Yeah. This is the networks. This is the input. Input and CV conversion in the networks. Uh, sorry, new networks with operation to the inside and go to the Let's click on this and click on the right click. It will take time. Similarly, it will take time. Still, yeah. Now, explore the input. Yeah. Now, explore the input. What's happen inside the input? Let's see. Yeah. Till now, the following process. Yeah. Input is coming. Here, input is x ones and y is the outputs. So in the input, what's happened? Inherit it. Click on that and open it. It will create the another thing for the us. Okay. Now explore the main body. Okay, yes. In the layer one, input layer one, this is input layer. Open it. When you open the layer one, see, you open the layer one from here. There is the input, and input is coming from here, and this input process is coming from here. So let's see what is going on in the, this layer and this process. I will show you on the very few limits. Let's elaborate on the things, explain, explore. I'm exploring these things, and in these things, let's see it will work the uh, logistic functions you are using, to which functions, which memory functions you are all the little stuff. So, the IW is the weight. So, let's see what is the weight you are using. Open this way. See, in this particular, in this particular, when I'm exploring these things here. Input is coming and delays is where and it is the weight, it is the bias that is coming to here and it is using log sigma functions as a output link and giving the output. So weight and bias is automatically considered. So let's see the weight and bias value. I will show you the only weight values because most of the question, students have the question how you save the weight. I not save the weight manually but it will take the single link automatically. Let's explain this thing again. Explore. Okay, so those number of weight C for one, for two, layer for three, four, five, for five. Each of the half weight. Explore the for only suppose third. How many weight is this? Okay. So when you are exploring the thing, so let's see that actual diagram inside. This is the weight and this is the weight basis condition series. Let's see the actual picture. Did you understand this? It is this. It is the actual thing. Now let's see the weight of this. What is the weight here? Explore the weight three. What is the weight is there? The weight values is here, and the signal values is not there, but weight values is here. Let's see the weight values. It will take automatically for this layer for third input. It will take automatically weight this. Can a human being is possible to save this weight by manually? Never. But 
singing can do this by using the previous uh, default training networks, learning networks, training functions, and in output output functions, it can be possible. So close to this next thing. Uh, no. Yeah. So our intention is yes. Now I will show you how to train the data in neural networks. Okay. So to train the data in neural networks, type any any. If you start another tools in this tool, I will train the neural network as my computer. Group. So first we need to import the data here. So click import. What is your input data? Input data is here click input and inputs. It is already saved in input data. Let me save. It is my input data, inputs and targeted targets. So let's select the input and targets. So input data here. Inputs is here. Input. Okay. And select the target and come here and select the target. So my input data and target data are selected. See the input data type. Now create a networks. So create new. Come to here. Select the network. Network name takes automatically. If we want to take manual network name, you can put here. Network type, which type of network you want to use. It is back propagation to forward networks and choosing here. If you choose another, you can choose. Now select the input, which input you want to use. Input, select the target. Which training function you want to, to train the network? Train LM, training living bar compute functions, train GDX gradient descent by propositions of momentum, and train GD gradient descent only and GD and training gradient descent with momentum. It is a very serious learning function also. So I am using learning function learn GD and learn GDM. Learn GD is the learning. Gradient descent and learn GDM means learning gradient descent with uh, momentum. So I am using here learn GD, learning gradient descent functions. And performance function I am choosing here means for error MSE. I am using number of layer 2, 3, or maybe various. I am using here only two layers. Okay. And, you, uh, and, uh, and you can choose here. Which layer you want to? How many? Uh, how many neural you want? So it is by default ten. I want to choose here. Only neural I will use here for each of the layers. And in the transfer function, I will use transic, log sig of boolean. Best use is boolean. I am using here boolean function in the transfer function. Now let's see the networks. How it looks like this. The network will really looks like this. Very good. Now create the network. Press and click create. Okay, network is created. Now close. What is the network is created? Network is created here. So click on it and open the networks. After open the networks, how to frame? Choose the input. Choose the target. Okay, and train the network. It will automatically train. No need to write those mass of code, it will automatically create the network and it will give the results of the values. Now, let's see in the neural data toolbox. It is a neural data toolbox in this toolbox. It is just started and it is also stops. It is stopped within 20 30 directions. Let's see the performance of the network. It sees the performance of the network like the validation performance is gets 0.04547 value at iterations of 23 it gets the minimum values here after that not possible it will going to stop let's see the training states in the training state how it's the gradient value mutations and validation values is given like this and the regressions value is given in this equations also see in the banknote data cells, it can give the regression values is look like this. For it is the training 0.98, validation 0.98, and uh, testing also 0.99, and all the values, all the total values 0.98, something value. 
and see my data sales result is very close to that because the dot dot lines you can see here so let's see the dot dot lines with coincide with the blue line green line black lines red lines also everywhere so the data is very close to the actual target value it is the training procedure using neural network to box i think hopefully you understand how to train the data in neural network and how to train the data as well as in manual coding also hopefully you understand if you like my videos please share subscribe and subscribe my channels and press the bell icon for more and more updates and i will remember you again the one more things please if you like the videos please put some comments and make me tell me to uh, create those type of video more and more so, because whatever the problem i faced in my academic project i think you will not face the problem the same so that's why i'm uploading the whole things in youtube that will make you more generative perfect and one step ahead than others so stay in touch with smart forest channels today this much thank you